Hey guys, Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. Today I am going to go through the meters and the recorder section of the X32 Mix app. If you haven't checked out my other videos on the other sections of the X32 Mix app, make sure you check those out first. But today we're gonna to be diving into the meters and the recorder section. So to get there, basically we hit meters in the top portion of the app, and then we have our four tabs up here. We have our channels, mix buses, aux, and effects, and our inputs and outputs. Now, channel is going to be the actual channels of the board. So channels 1 through 32. This does not relate to the inputs of the board, only the channels themselves. Our first section is our input channels. This is basically going to be showing you the meters of the input of that channel. So if I went to go to my channel 1 and turned up the gain a lot, we would go back to our meters and see that it's a lot higher. And then if I went back here and turned my gain down, we would see that the meters is uh, quite a bit lower. So let's go ahead and put that back to uh, normal here. And so the next thing that we have is our gain reduction from the gate. Now this is the gate or the expander. Um, and if it is in reduction or a muting status, then it would show the level of reduction that's actually taking place. So you can see that there is a couple different numbers here. We have a 12 and a 30. And so basically if it is in reduction, you'll just see those meters start popping down. The next one that we have here is our gain reduction for the dynamics. Now this is if you are compressing. And so this is going to show you their gain reduction under compression. So if you're not compressing a channel, it obviously won't show. The next tab that we have is our mix buses. So we have our mix buses one through 16 and our matrix and also our main buses here on the right hand side. Again, we have our gain reduction here. And so you can see that I don't have any compression set up on my mixed buses, but I do have a mild, actually significant amount of compression happening on my stereo bus. If we were to go and activate some gain reduction in mix bus one, we would start seeing that happening. So we're gonna go ahead and go to mix bus one, to our dynamics, turn this on, and start compressing this a lot and go back to our meters, and then we can see that we have a significant amount of gain reduction happening in Mixbus 1. Next is going to be our aux sends, aux returns, and our effects returns. So aux sends being aux one through six, which are the quarter inch outputs on the back of the board. Our aux returns are the quarter inch inputs on the back of the board, one through six. And seven and eight would be the USB playback from our USB recorder on the top of the board. The stereo effects returns are going to be the returns of our effects racks one through four, if they are set up to come back into the effects ones through four. And then lastly, we have our inputs and outputs. These are going to be the meters of the actual input and the outputs of the board. And then we can see our aux sends, aux returns, AES EBU, our monitors, and our 16 board outputs, and then also the P16s um, for the monitoring system up on the stage. Next, we have our recorder section. So this is going to be the brains of recording a stereo track on your board. Now, the simple way of doing this is by having a USB stick and plugging it into the top of the board. And once you have that set up there, basically we can go ahead and press record and it will start recording. It's very simple to actually use. I actually like the iPad setting this up a lot more because we have more options available to us right in front of us rather than going through multiple layers. So we can see that we can pull our uh, change basically where this is pulling from. So we have our main left, right, center mono, mix buses, we have our matrix, and then our direct outs from all the channels, including the aux, effects, monitors, and talkback. So if you were wanting to pull a board mix off your main left, right, go ahead and set that to left, and then we can set our right source to be from main right. We can either set this to post fader if you want that, or to pre fader. And then we just hit record. Now another thing that we have is trim. So we have a trim from negative six all the way up to positive 24 for the recording trim. Um, so you can vary that if you need to. And then lastly, we have a cassette tape, tape player looking type thing. So if you were wanting to go ahead and start recording, we would just press record. And then there is a counter for how long the track has been playing. And then we can also stop. 
Now we can also play back from this, as we can see right here, we have our selected track, and you can go through the multiple ones that you have on your USB stick. Once you have that selected, you can just go ahead and press play, and it will start playing, and you can see the countdown clock on the bottom portion of this. And to simply stop, we can go ahead and press the stop. Lastly, there is a couple different options as far as in here goes. We have our input low cut, pre-EQ, post-EQ, post pre-fader, and post-fader, but then we also have this option of plus M. So basically, the plus M is plus mutes. So if you had this set to pre-fader plus M, and we muted the left right bus, you'd notice that this one is still pre-fader, and this one is also still pre-fader but plus M, but we can see our left is muted because it is including the mutes of this board. So that is the really quick walkthrough of our meters and our recorder section of the X32 Mix app. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to my channel as you'll be up to date with the most recent videos that I'm releasing on the X32. Thank you so much.